Welcome to another Ziva math video. In this video, we'll practice subtracting mixed numbers when we have to regroup. Let's look at our first example. For our first example, we have 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths. And I have a common denominator of fourths, so I don't need to worry about finding a common denominator. But when I go to subtract my numerators, 1 minus 3, I can't do that without regrouping. So we're going to go to the whole number of 3 for our regrouping, and we're going to borrow the 1 from it. Now I can't take a whole number 1 and just give it to the 1 fourth like you do when you regroup with whole numbers. I have to turn that whole number 1 into fourths. So remember, if you have a whole and you've divided it into fourths, there are four fourths in one whole. So I have to turn my one whole into four fourths to be able to do my regrouping. So I can give that numerator four more fourths as my regrouping step. So now I have a whole number of two. I have one plus the four fourths gives me five fourths. So now I have two and five fourths and I don't need to do anything to the bottom number. So we're we'll be subtracting the 1 and 3 fourths. And like we said a second ago, we already have common denominator of fourths, so now I can subtract 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. My common denominator of 4 remains the same, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have 1 and 2 fourths now, and I need to ask myself, can I simplify? 2 fourths can be simplified. 2 and 4 share a common factor of 2. So I'm going to divide my numerator and denominator by that common factor. My 1 whole remains 1 whole. And then my numerator 2 divided by 2 is 1. My denominator of 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths equals 1 and a half. For our second example, we have 6 and a half minus 3 and 7 twelfths. And I don't have common denominator here, so I do need to start with that step because when you go to subtract, you have to start with the fractions. So with halves and twelfths, my common denominator is going to be 12. And I'm going to go ahead and set that up and deal with my denominator first. I already have twelfths with 3 and 7 twelfths, so I'm just going to rewrite that part of my problem so I can keep everything straight. And the question is, what did I multiply 2 by to get to 12? Well, I multiplied 2 by 6. So to make an equivalent fraction, I need to multiply my numerator of 1 by 6. 1 times 6 is 6. And I'm going to bring over my whole number just so I can keep everything lined up. Now that I have common denominator, I can look to subtract. Well, Subtracting my numerator, 6 minus 7, I can't do that without regrouping. So I'm going to need to go to the 6 and regroup. And that 1 that I take from the 6, I can't just give it to the 6 twelfths. I have to turn it into twelfths first. So 1 equals 12 twelfths. And so when I regroup, I'm going to give that numerator of 6 12 instead of 1 because I'm giving it the 12 twelfths. And now I'm going to rewrite everything just so everything's nice and neat and I can see exactly what I have. So 6 plus the 12 is 18. So for my fraction, I have 18 twelfths and I still have that whole number 5. And then for the second number, we are subtracting the 3 and 7 twelfths. And so taking a second to rewrite this, gives me a very clear problem so I can see exactly the steps that I need to take. So now I have a common denominator so I can subtract my numerators. 18 minus 7 is 11. My denominator of 12 remains the same and now I can subtract my whole numbers. 5 minus 3 is 2. So 6 and a half minus 3 and 7 twelfths equals 2 and 11 twelfths because I can't simplify the 11 twelfths so this is my final answer. Thank you for joining us. Be sure you like this video and subscribe for more videos by Ziva Math.